African drums are talking. The throbbing drums beat out their rhythmic music as the jungle seethes and bristles with unseen life. Juju is abroad tonight, and the listener knows that out in the Juju Grove there will be grisly rituals taking place. And by morning, there will be one less native in the land. But listen. The booming of the drums brings you a story. A story of Africa. Seeking in Africa for a lost people, Professor Anton Edwards and his party follow the directions of a talking, mummified head. A head that speaks a language he's been studying with another man for years. But the directions the talking head gave them led them into difficulties and the professor became a little suspicious. On climbing a circular range of mountains, they find themselves on the edge of an extinct volcanic crater. An earthquake starts them sliding into the crater. Reaching the bottom, they discover the place to be inhabited by a medieval people who are ruled by the priests in cruelty and fear. Unfortunately, the professor's party killed two sacred apes, and the priests have vowed to put them to death for the sacrilege. But the queen of the people, in a secret interview, begs the professor to wrest her country from the power of the priests. The professor's party now is awaiting the summons to appear before the high priest in the hall of the Temple of the Rock, when the talking head delivers a message. What's the head saying, sir? Uh, Nothing very important, Jack except that it confirms an opinion I have had ever since we were taken prisoners on that hill. You sounded a little upset just now. Yeah. Yes, perhaps I did. Let's get together on this, Jack. The priests have decided to sacrifice us in this sacred rock contraption of theirs. And apparently, from what the Queen says, it's worked from a big cross that stands on the altar. How do you know that, Father? He said, immediately the high priest turned the cross to face the victim. The two sides of the rock closed and crushed the poor creature to death. That means the cross is the lever that controls the awful device. Well, that's clear enough. It must be worked with a very powerful spring. Uh, I doubt if they know anything about springs, Jack. But there's another thing we know. That the rock, once closed, is never opened in front of the people. Now, if we can get that rock to close before we're in it, They'll have to put off the sacrifice and give us time to think up another one. But how can you do that? The cross that controls it will be heavily guarded. This cross is evidently a relic of old crusader days. If so, it's undoubtedly made of solid iron. A well-placed rifle bullet at the extreme end of one of the arms would soon turn it and spring the trap. Say, that's perfect, sir. But you'll have to be careful to hit it in the right spot. It may swing only one way. Yes, yes, I've thought of that. But I think we can overcome it with our field glasses. Oh, you mean there'll be a part of the altar cut away for it to swing? Yes. I doubt if the priests allow the people to get near enough to see how it works. But glasses will offset that. That's fine, sir. But what if they decide to get rid of us some other way? Then, as I said before, backs to the wall and let them have it. Heavens, it's getting dark already. There seems to be no twilight in this place at all. They'll be here for us soon. I hope they don't try to take the guns away from us. They'll be cooked properly if they do. They won't. They don't understand the use of them. And I don't think they'll take Unguru's spear. The guards are probably all wearing armor and feel perfectly safe. How about light, Father? You'll need plenty of light to make that shot. They'll have some sort of oil lamps and tallow candles in there. But if there's not sufficient light, Jack, throw the flashlight directly on the cross. Well, that'll make them sit up and take notice without anything else. Well, let's sit down and wait. We may have some quick thinking to do shortly. Oh, heavens, that awful head seems to want to talk at the most inopportune moment. What did it say, sir? I didn't quite catch it. Wait a minute, it may speak again. (laughs) Talking about revenge. Yeah, just what I thought. Revenge. I should have realized it before, but... Then, then... Father, look. Don't be frightened, Lorna. It's all right. Well, they've come for us. Let's get it over with. You youngsters, follow me. 
Go on the first, and then Guru will bring up the rear. Come on. And whatever you do, don't let go of your rifles. Buana. Well, and Guru? Nguru, snake woman, lead way. Pana, huh? you old fighter, do as I say. You guard the rear. Wait for my word. Aye, Buana. Oh, what a beautiful place. Gives me the shivers, though. I don't wonder. They evidently mean us to stand here. Hmm. Jack, there's the rock. Great heavens, sir. What a murderous looking thing. Oh, look at those horrible marks inside the cave. Oh. Don't look at them, Lana. Keep your mind on what we have to do. Try and think how many people are here. At least 70,000, Jack. I've never seen such a huge place in my life. There's the cross right in the center on a raised dais. Shall I put the glasses on it? There's plenty of light. Yes. See what you can see. The priests haven't come in yet. Will the queen be here, Father? Hush. We're not supposed to know there is a queen. She probably sits on that carved stone chair. Hmm. This place is packed with priceless antiques. I found it, sir. That right arm moves away from us, and the left comes this way. A part of the rock in which it's embedded has been cut away to the left. That shows it swings this way. That's fine, Jack. There's a light coming out of the tunnel. Look! Behold ye! Behold ye! The rule of the rock! Hold up thy hands and bow thy head! Ye people of the city of the rock, the queen approaches. It's the queen. Oh, doesn't she look lovely? Those fellows in armor walking with her must be our friends. Look, there come the priests. Uh, that's the high priest, the one with the long beard. Look at his little cool eyes feasting themselves on us. Dirty rat. What is it? The high priest taking his place on the floor in front of the queen. This is where the argument starts. Can you hear what he's saying? No. No, but I can tell by his gestures what he's saying. There. He's pointing an accusing finger at us. He's come to the part where our little medicine killed the sacred apes. Good Lord, the people must be with him. A bloodthirsty hypocrite. The queen's interrupting him. There's the good foolish woman. I wish you'd let him go ahead and start his game. There. Look. He's standing back. He's going to put the vote to the people. Listen. That's done it, sir. The Queen's looking around anxiously at us, Father. When are you going to do something? Plenty of time, Lorna. Wait until the old bird starts his miracles and I'll go him one better, the dirty hound. I'll make him wish that rock was any place but here. Have you changed your plan, sir? No. I'll close the rock all right. Watch. He's going to start the show. He's going towards the rock. Yes, that's a part of the ceremony. He goes there to show the people that the rock won't close on a priest, only on its chosen victims. In a moment, he'll wish he'd never been born, the murdering devil. What are you going to do? Catch him in his own trap. Let go my arm, you fool. You can't shoot now, sir. It's it's justifiable homicide, you idiot. Watch. Oh! Oh, how horrible. Oh, Jack, Jack. Don't worry, dear. Your father had to do that to save us from the same fate. He was quite right. Where's father going? Listen. He's going to talk to them. The guards are afraid to touch him. Ye people of the city of the rock, how can ye learn? No harm shall befall thee. Wilt thou be murdered one by one by these who call themselves priests? They are but cast in one mold and measured with one rule. They say and do not but that which increases their power. And they feed upon the wrappings of witchcraft. Is father safe out there, Jack? He's only got an guru with him. Those guards might start something any minute. Look, they're standing back to back. Keep your rifle ready, Lorna. We may have to shoot quickly. And so I say unto you, be thinking of I 
sons and daughters. Depart unto thy houses and ponder that which I have spoken. For the power of these false gods is at an end. They're backing over this way. Look, one of the trees. He's going after them with a knife. Oh, and Bruno! That's another one gone where they just sent us. The spear went right through his throat. Into the room we came from. Hurry. You go on, sir. Lauren and I will cover you. Careful, that crowd looks rough. Oh, here's the queen coming. Shall we let those guards of hers in with her? I guess so. Come on, they'll follow us. Everybody else seems to be going the other way. Oh, you know, Jack, I, I believe I'm going to faint. If you do anything like that, now that the worst is over, I'll disown you. Here we are. Fine, Laura. You stuck it out well. Come, sit down, child. The queen's coming this way, sir. Good. She'll probably know what's likely to happen next. Those priests look ugly to me. So the snake woman had her kiss after all, Unguru, eh? Aye, Buana. Smell a more blood soon. Here's the queen, sir. Oh, great man, thou hast kept thy word. But in truth, upon the morrow shall we have war. The priests are fleeing into the hills, taking many followers. Yet are many faithful to me. What is the number of thy followers? They number 30,000. And they clamor for thee to lead them in battle against the hosts of the priests. For so reads the prophecy. Rivers of blood shall run ere happiness settles upon the land. Art thou ready, great fighter? Aye, noble woman. I am ready. <laughs> 